<laughs> All right. This video is by Sunny V2 and it's called He Beefed with Critical, then lost 99% of his audience. <gasps> you don't do that. Because, like, most critical, if he says something and, like, oh my God, he has so many watchers, like millions and millions of viewers. It's crazy. Let's see what happened. 500 death noodles. 500,000 subscribers, but only a few a death hundred noodles. views per video. The total collapse of his channel had been. Listen, 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 listen. I'm not gonna shame people with so many subscribers, but, but low amount of viewers it could happen for multiple reasons you left the channel for years without uploading so everybody forgot about you you got these subs depending on some type of a content but then you change your content throughout the years on your channel uh you changed as a person you know like you your interest and whatever changed and that reflects in your videos uh there's so many reasons this happens and i don't shame people for that because me personally also if you look at my viewer ratio and my i have four 400. By the way, we reached 400k subs on Volume 1 channel. Ah, I forgot to tell you. I reached 400k and 70k on Volume 1 TV and 400k on my uh, Volume 1 channel. Yo, almost half a million. Okay, next thing is 500k. But um, the thing is that I had so many of these when I had these really awesome viral videos of me reacting to comic uh, uh comic movies and uh, stuff like that but now my whole content is wwe has nothing to do okay like maybe there is still muscular guys around on the screen but, but still that's the only thing and that's why like my viewer count would be like around 8k to 15k average and then there is of course videos that would pop off but still these this would be like my common depending on the 400k like you would think hmm that's not like really that much you know but it's been years in the in that change and my content changed so many times a whole year i didn't upload any videos when i lost my dad like there's so many reasons this can happen so i don't really shame that but also it could be a bad reason so let's see maybe this is a bad reason <laughs> Building for months Maybe we can learn from this guy. Although the final nail in the coffin was an ill-fated beef with Penguin Zero, who also covered news oh, the and Q, drama, uh, we can, I can answer that later. Difference. Each creator's level of integrity. While Critical Ask only later, covers topics that he's qualified to speak on, Death Noodles began to wreck his image by covering anything and everything with a sloppy, embarrassing, complete lack of research. For example, back when James Charles was being accused of grooming, a comedy TikToker named Sammy Sens posted an obviously fake James Charles chat log, captioned with the hashtags funny and meme, making it obvious that the screenshot was an edited joke. Uh. While Death Noodles rushed to his Twitter writing, who could have seen this coming? James Charles exposed by 14 year old so boy, bad, apparently not life. even looking at the screenshot's original date, when James Charles would have still been a minor himself. To make Death Noodles' obvious lack of research worse, he'd then promote a second even faker screenshot, with Death Noodles this responding in the most mature way he'd state this page is satirical meaning it's not meant to be taken seriously no 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 no. you can't you can't do that if you are mentioning other people's lives and you are literally dragging them down knowing that the consequences could be destroying their career or their lives you can't take it as a satirical and ha 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 i'm just laughing and it's funny like no do it to yourself and to your own life. Do whatever you want with your private life and your personal life. Like, make fun of it as much as you want. But to bring other creators into this for clickbait? No, that's an asshole move. Tone is overly serious because it's meant to be satirical. The way I present things is so serious. That's what's supposed to be the satire. <laughs> However, this move backfired terribly Not everybody can as understand Keemstar would give satire. Def Noodles a taste of his own fake satire. Def Noodles has allegedly groomed girls from ages yeah. 12 to <laughs> 15. Funny. Big YouTuber source, victims are scared of him and wish to stay anonymous but may come forward soon. Def Noodles has declined to give us a comment on these allegations made against him, with Def Noodles then responding to the mockery in another terrible way, by lawsuit. I am now suing him to clear my name of these false allegations and to hold him accountable for knowingly making oh false my God, accusations. You did the and as summarized thing. by a comment reading, he's been spiraling Hypocrite. since the Keemstar lawsuit announcement. This is where Def Noodle's life completely fell apart. Because despite suing Keemstar for falsely tweeting about him being a pedo, Def Noodles went on to do this to another YouTuber named Papa Gut while adding, put this MF on a watch list. He looks Dude, mad. Dude, like imagine saying someone looks like a pedo. Like imagine saying that. First of all, what do you mean somebody looks like? 
the, 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 there's no actual look related to someone like that. Second of all, like how bad of a person you are to put that onto someone's life, allegedly do this type of things and comment on their life, pretending to like calling them the worst thing ever. To be honest, I don't think there's anything worse that can someone be called just because of, and their looks like it relates to what? Vicious. When people called Def Noodles out for doing the same thing he was suing Keemstar yeah, for a while, Def Noodles claimed like, he had a wrong copper gut in any way because one, my bio says comedian. Two, since 2019, I've said I covered news as a joke and wasn't meant to be taken seriously. And three, saying someone looks like a <laughs> pedo isn't an accusation, especially when they uh, objective. Yes, it is. Yeah, exactly. It is exactly an accusation. That's the definition of it. Looks like look like a pedo. As a result, Papa Gut broke down live on stream. <gasps> this is a, a joke to you. It's a game to you. This isn't a game to me, Dennis. This is, a, this is so real to me. After which Def Noodles took a screenshot of Papa Gut crying and turned it into a piece of his own merch. Comments such as the fact that Def is wow. making fun of him for this is crazy showed the audience was losing respect for Def Noodles. Your platform is going away because you're unjustifiably targeting me? Which began to show in Def Noodle's following as for the first time ever, he began to lose subscribers. Although rather than recalibrating and letting his reputation heal, it almost instantly jumped into another controversy that would ultimately end everything, a beef with Penguin Zero. In addition to reporting the news, Def Noodles had made the claim that he was apparently a professional comedian. He'd state, I have a background in comedy. I trained literally for years as an improviser. I've performed in basically every major theatre and comedy venue in New York and LA. Every stand-up place, every place that you can think of and you can find on Google, I have performed there, which Def Noodles went to- And nobody knew that about you, you had to tell us? Like, imagine being an Oscar-worthy actor and you have to tell us that you are an Oscar-worthy actor? No, no, you don't have to tell us, we know that. We would know it by ourselves, you know? Like the moment you have to brag about your career and your accomplishments, it it's all goes down. It's all it's like it all disappears. It means shit. Like I don't I don't listen to you anymore. On to prove by like, showing an awkward, unfunny clip of him performing live. <laughs> Def Noodles clearly couldn't see that he wasn't as good as he thought. However, this didn't so stop bad. him from opening his own 50-person comedy club, christening the venue with an event called Super Roast Battle. It ran for an hour and a half and was streamed to a live audience on both Twitch and YouTube, leaving no space for mercy if the event was a total failure, and a total failure the event would certainly wow. be. Everything that can't go wrong, go wrong. The first 24 minutes saw the audience sitting there waiting, and it's therefore no surprise they weren't exactly hyped when Deaf Noodles finally started the show. All right, LA, are you ready? Are you ready? I don't know about this. I don't think we're going to do the show anymore. This is, this crowd's like, they're all asleep. These 24 silent minutes were spent setting up the unprepared lighting and sound, which clearly hadn't been checked Why or rehearsed. Why did you not do that before? This is our first time doing this. Although things only got worse okay, when like the roast actually started. Okay, like if it's first time, like you understand. It like you woke up in a dumpster. <laughs> Probably. You're like my cousin if you were a girl. Thank you. I bet you cried when you got those tattoos. I did. I did. Def Noodles spent the hour telling the worst jokes the world had ever oh heard, God, in the process so picking cringe. up a one-week Twitch ban for something said by one of the roasters. The event was so heavily criticized by the internet. Def Noodles, this guy is just something else. I cannot believe what I just witnessed. I think I'm still trying to recover from it. This was honestly one of the more embarrassing things I've ever seen. Def Noodles convinced himself the show was successful since it started a trend on Twitter, although See, it's seen this attitude a, I feel like... It's a social, it's a, it's a mind issue. I'm not calling him crazy or anything like that. It's a, I don't know if it's a narcissistic, egotistic type of behavior, but it is a type of behavior that people think that like if they make themselves believe that they are the most successful, the best looking, 
that will drive them to become as such and will make them um, successful in life. And we do have a lot of people who talk about that, like, for example, Andrew Tate and other people who really preach how important it is to tell your brain how good you are because you can literally fool your brain into thinking it that one day you will definitely believe it and then the world around you will believe it because you are what you emit you know as the energy you emit but sometimes it goes so much over their head some people that they lose the sense of normalcy they lose the sense of humbleness humanity of of like to be grounded and to see things from a different perspective. Like they are literally like these horses who just see it from one way and they, no matter what you tell them, they will never understand it and they will never see it differently because they fool themselves into believing it one way and that's it. It's so hard to like get them out of it. So I kind of bit feel sorry for people like that because they put themselves into that mindset and it's hard for them to get out of it anymore. But also like you just give up on such people because what can you do? You're not a professional to deal with that. What can you do? Completely. When Penguin Zero uploaded, I've never seen something this horrible. Like, I'm sure he believes. <laughs> and I ha I don't, I'm not signed in here on, on, on Mozilla right now. Um, the thing is that, like, I truly think they, they, like, they really believe it. I feel so sorry for them because they really believe They don't see anything wrong in what they're doing. Oh, it's an octopus ad. This was a complete fucking disaster on a level i haven't seen before imagine we need the furniture but if it actually happened it was worse than anyone could have imagined critical gave a different take on why the show was a total failure nobody knew each other literally nobody so all they can do is roast each other's appearance because they don't know them before offering yeah, a couple bad. roasts of his own like this is what happens at like a middle school lunch table it's like that episode of spongebob hey so what's up with salt shakers <laughs> Oh, brother, this guy stinks. However, Deaf Noodles couldn't handle his basic criticism as he'd respond with his own video titled My Apology to Moist Critical for First Super Roast Battles. Deaf Noodles spent the video sarcastically pretending he wasn't hurt. The greatest crime that I committed was to have caused the great Moist Critical to cringe. would like to extend my sincerest apologies for causing you to cringe while watching my roast battle. I am Why is he talking like this? ludicrously buckling to my knees, self-deprecatingly acquiescing to the oh-so-great most critical. Joking he deserved the highest form of punishment for his failed comedy show. Not only should I have been arrested and sent to the gulags, but I should have also been forced to live the rest of my miserable existence being waterboarded while Baby Shark plays on loop at max volume in the background. Agree. And two CIA torture Hell experts yeah, electrocute boy. the tip of my penis with tweezers. In the six hours that followed, <laughs> Jeff Noodles received a 90% dislike ratio, a loss of 3,000 subscribers, and thousands and thousands of comments completely and utterly wrecking him. This is obviously trying to be ironic, but the layers of actual self-pity and insecurity make this very hard to watch. It, you can tell Charlie hurt his feelings. Yeah. This is cringier than the roast battle itself, so much that Critical came back to spank him again. This is going to be me talking about his response video, which I think is a very important lesson in how not to handle controversy. However, the most notable announcement mm -hmm. for the previous two videos was that Deaf Noodles had doubled down by scheduling another roast battle. The only way for me to make this situation right again is to produce another roast. Which somehow became even worse than the first one. Oh my right, god, so how Duff is that Noodles even possible? Another one of his roast battles and he somehow outdid himself. I could not believe what I was watching. I've never seen anything like this. Because rather than casting a bunch of local comics, oh. Def Noodles chose to invite his mortal enemy Salvo Pancakes, who filled the audience with his fans who were there to cause some chaos. The audience sat there waiting even longer than the first battle, and when no Deaf way. Noodles finally walked out from the back, his roasts were physical rather than verbal. After shoving Salvo pancakes, he'd get his revenge by walking through the crowd and onto the stage, signing his own Salvo pancakes posters, completely disrupting the show. This should have been the perfect chance for Deaf Noodles to roast his enemy, although in true Deaf Noodles fashion, he hadn't prepared material and would instead get roasted by Salvo. If we were here, there'd be nobody in the crowd. Oh! 
After having a drink thrown on him, Salvo was forced out of the show by security, with the second Super Roast Battle's terrible mismanagement, giving Penguin Zero a fresh new video. At first I thought this was staged, because it looks like something straight out of the WWE. What the hell just happened there? I was expecting there? Stone Cold Steve Austin to come out with a beer and a chair and hit deaf noodles in the I would choose to be a gamer sitting in my house chilling, playing in Shrouded or Final Fantasy any day. Any day than going out for an event like this. What a waste of it. time! With comments such as, I like how Charlie has had this same format and style for years, and is still funnier than Def Noodles would ever be, Def Noodles' image was dying with every passing hour. The headshot came with Penguin Zero's fourth Def Noodles video, totaling over 10 million views worth of Def Noodles' criticism, Four which could have easily been Farming. avoided by ignoring Critical's first video. Yeah. When combined with all of his previous controversy, Def Noodles' monthly viewership went from 4 million to 400,000, Although despite already losing 90% of his fan base, he somehow still had further to fall. His news-related content became low-effort challenge videos, while an attempt to pivot to interviews also failed to make a difference. More than one year after the roast battle incident, every video was still getting at least 50% dislikes and a bunch of comments along the lines of, 1.5k views in 15 hours is crazy, but it's mind-blowing when you realize Dennis has over 500k subs. Who's watching these videos? Lining up interviews for a non-existent audience wasn't exactly worth it, so he'd instead fall in love with his own failure by uploading a video titled Unsubscribe Challenge. I want to challenge everybody who's watching this video and is subscribed to this channel to unsubscribe. I want to see if we can break the record for being the most unsubscribed channel in the history of this planet. Dude, he's trying to save his channel because... If your channel algorithmically on YouTube has so many subscribers by low amount of views, uh, YouTube automatically decides and thinks that, okay, your channel is not worthy of promotion for new subscribers or for new people. It still does recommend it for the people who are subscribed as long as they turn the notification bell or whatever, but no new subscribers come. So what he's trying to do is lower the amount of subs to see if that can save his channel because maybe he can trick the system and the algorithm next year or whatever when the next update comes, a new algorithm comes or whatever, and then YouTube software's gets refreshed, you know, and then he can trick the system into thinking that he has a lower amount of subs than he usually did. And then it's like kind of a normal channel and can be upgraded. Uh, -uh. doesn't work like that. Form. This would mark the first of many insane Deaf Noodles ramblings, including I'm fat, I'm a loser, and of course the unsubscribe challenge part two. You know, I don't ask for much in life. One of those things would be for you to unsubscribe right now. Which many of his audience were happy to oblige. Over on Reddit, OKP compiled 20 different videos, which failed to achieve a single view despite being hours old, while a different user questioned if Deaf Noodles had the least watched channel views to subscribers ratio. Ironically, Deaf Noodles has since try to mirror Penguin Zero by launching Deaf Noodles new, and while some of his takes are surprisingly well put, his thumbnail game and more notably his reputation are still in need of some serious work. Wieso riskierst du dein Leben? Wieso? <laughs> oh my god! Yikes! Wait, let me just skip this and go back to the actual video. <sighs> Yeah, what is what is with his what is his name? Deaf Noodles. Let's see actually the state of his channel right now. This is crazy. Okay, he still has 508k subs. So the unsubscribe thing didn't really work out. He is uploading every day really short. Why does he not make him these are not short? These are short. This doesn't work on YouTube anymore, sweetie. Like, you can't upload 30 second videos. What is the point? Every day he's uploading. Every single day. Okay, well, he, he 17K is not a bad thing, okay? Maybe, maybe it's a comeback. For <laughs> maybe we are having a comeback, guys. Look, this was like 600, 800, 400. And now... <gasps> when, when was that video uploaded? When Sunny V uploaded the video? March 14th. Oh, never mind. That's like a couple of days ago, right? I feel like a lot of people did what I just did. They googled Def Noodles and watched some of his videos to see how bad he is. He just gave him a push with this video. 
<laughs> no way see some people say even like uh bad reputation or bad uh i don't know like i, I don't know the bad news or out whatever like gives you views doesn't even matter as long as it's as long as people are talking about you it's not a big push it's gonna go away either way like if he's still on the same douche he's gonna stay the same douche, so he's not gonna get anything but if he didn't learn anything from his mistakes nothing's gonna change mm -hmm.